Hey everybody, welcome back to Taproot TV. I'm Benny Hughes and I'm here with Mark Paradise. Hey. Welcome Mark. We are going to talk about our favorite subject of the year and that is the, this will be the 2020 Taproot Global Summit. Yep. Wow. Been, been quite a few of those, hasn't there? Goodness. Is that right? Boy, that's right. 2020. It is. Um, been. <laughs> it's hard to believe. It is. That there's 20 in the 20. Wow. And, and this is going to be a great one. We're really excited. We've been working hard on it since the last summit. Um, we've got some amazing keynotes that are going to be coming up. But really fun is we're going to be back at Horseshoe Bay Resort, which um, is near Austin, Texas. And everyone loved that venue. Yep. It was a fantastic It's a venue. great place to network because you're, you're sort of there with everybody else and you keep seeing people and talking to them and it's a great thing. <laughs> yeah, at, that, that one, people left that last one being upset that it was going to be a whole another year and a half before they got to see everybody again. So yep. that's a good summit. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the whys of the summit. Why go to the summit? Yes. That's a great thing. Well, I think, I think it all depends on your personality a little bit, but for those who want to learn from their experts and from peers out there, the breakout sessions we do really do, and, and the keynote speakers, are really good to learn from. Yes. Um, I know that we had, uh, last year, the astronaut um, Jim Weatherby came and talked. We're going to have him come back again this year. And people really liked talking to him, mm -hmm. and, you know, hearing his talk, but also going up afterwards and talking to him. They really learned a lot from him. He, he was like the Pied Piper when he left the keynote to go over to his breakout session. Everybody, Everybody went, went with, with him. him. Yep. <laughs> they really did. He was just captivating and just what he had to share everybody found value from. And and so that what people need to do when they get ready to register, and I know it's a little early to register yet, but it's still time to start thinking about it. It's time to start putting it on your schedule. This is going to be next year, March 9th through the 13th. Yes. i got to put aside those days. i got to put aside the budget. I've got to get my boss convinced that I need to go, and maybe that you want to bring a team from your mm -hmm. site to go. And, and then it comes time to say, okay, what are the biggest problems we have to face? What are we really trying to improve here? And which sessions in which tracks do I want to go to to help me improve performance? Because that's, that's my number one topic is I want to improve this. Is there a, a topic at the summit that's going to help me do that? And we have all these tracks that there, there are, are designed to well, help. Well, first off, areas. if you're a certified instructor, you ought to be there right. to pick up the latest changes we made. And there's a... There's a big change coming. I won't tell you what it is yet, but we've got a, a big improvement made um, to causal factors. And so you'll want to be there to learn how to teach the new causal factor section of the course. It isn't out yet. You can't see it yet. Right. I just know because I know what's coming. But so. if you are a certified instructor, do know the summit, that kind of, it's kind of a misconception that the summit is for certified instructors and it's for your team, right? your whole team. It's not just for certified Well, the certified instructors need to be there for the certified yes. instructor stuff, but you ought to be thinking about performance improvement mm -hmm. and who are the people making performance improvement happen, and they ought to be there. So it depends on how big your team is for helping improve performance. You ought to get all those team members there. Well, the tracks look fabulous that are, um, are set to go this next year. We've got the certified instructor track, improving investigations, improving human performance, achieving excellence and reliability, safety and managing risk, work-life balance, and then you can customize between all of those tracks. So a little bit of something for everybody. Customizing is a big thing to mention, mm -hmm. especially early on, because I don't know how many people tell me when they get there, well, I didn't know I could pick from <laughs> different tracks and put them all together. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. And so all you got to do when you're registering is pick a track, and then it gives you a, a way to, to customize that track. And you can click on any particular session. You say, oh, that doesn't really fit me. Mm -hmm. You can click, see what else is there, yes. and pick from a different topic to customize um, that so you're going to what you want to go to. And the website right now is not completely up, but it is, it's well on its way. You can start looking at some, what some of these breakout sessions are now um, and start planning. There's more and more going up every day. We also have our two-day pre-summit courses. There's 11 of those. And tell us a little bit about why somebody wants to go to these. Well, uh, of course, the, a bunch of those courses are only offered once a year. Yes. So if you want to go to, let's say, the trending course, or the risk management course, 
or the what if and using mm -hmm. taproot for hazard assessment course. Those are only offered before the summit. Yeah. We've also got a brand new stopping human error course that's going to be coming up. So that'll be another one to look for. And and that's we may offer that more than once a year, mm -hmm. but right now we've only got it scheduled at the summit. Yeah. So you want to look at those courses and you want to say, once again, which ones of these are going to help us improve performance and We've got to, I've got to go to this one. I've got to go to this one because it's my only chance to do it. Yeah. Uh, time trending here. trending's a good one to talk about it because is. trending, a lot of people have a lot of data out there and they don't know what to do with it. And the trending course really helps you decide how are you going to manage your data. And I know people who usually go to that course, they usually come and think, well, I'm just going to learn how to do some trending techniques. Yes, you learn that, mm -hmm. but you really set up your whole program so that you have a good trending program that will help you manage safety or quality or performance in general. And how do you use your root cause analysis statistics to help you do that? And these are interesting courses, but like when we come on site to teach, we need 10 or more people. And you may not, these are courses that maybe 10 people wouldn't go to. You, you, you might not have, have 10 very people select. Here. You might have 10 people go to a training course at your site. Right. You may have two. Well, right. They ought to be going to the one before the summit. And so this is this is the time to, to go to those courses. Um, you do re receive uh, CEUs for the pre-summit courses and for the summit. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Yep. We've got great keynotes that are planned. We're gonna talk about those a little more in depth in the future, but just kind of a little highlight um, the, from the movie Catch Me If You Can. If anybody's seen that and knows we always We've got Tam them. Hanks coming Tom again Hanks to the summit. Tom Hanks is coming to the summit. How many Tom Hanks movies have we had people come to the summit and present on? Four or five. I it's, mean, it's pretty amazing. The, like we said, the only one we have is, uh, well, other than this one now is um, Castaway. Castaway and have Wilson come. So. Yeah, we should we should have Wilson speak. We should summit. have Wilson speak. But this is, this is the guy who... Do uh, you remember the movie? I do. Okay, Very so good movie. tell him about the movie then. Well, in the movie, he's like he's a young man who um, he just, he's the greatest con artist you've ever seen, basically, and he just he, he gets himself on airplanes as oh, a as pilot. a pilot doesn't fly but sits in the third seat or the fourth seat. He doctor. He's a do he actually goes <laughs> into surgery. <laughs> yes. He's a, he becomes he becomes an assistant district attorney. In yeah. Louisiana, it's amazing. Um, all these and and some are more or less true of these things. Yes. So he's going to tell us the true story of what happened to him. He works for the FBI now. Strange, strange enough, he may be about ready to retire, but he went from being in prison mm -hmm. to working for the FBI. Uh, so that's a pretty amazing Subject story to tell expert, too. Right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think that'll be very interesting. And, and I think the thing that got me so I get to pick who we yeah. have for uh, speakers. And I think the thing that got me about him was he was talking about what they can and can't do from the FBI as far as um, your data. And he, he was saying that right now if they're within, I can't remember the numbers, but I'll make these up since I don't know yeah. anymore. But it's like if they're within 30 feet of your car, they can take control of a modern car. And, oh, wow. and it's soon that it will be they can take control of your car from Washington, D.C., that's kind of scary. It is kind of scary. <laughs> so he had some interesting, really interesting stuff like that to talk about in the question and answer session. Um, let's see. It's um, Commander Alfredo Sanchez. Alfredo. Yes. Alfredo Sanchez. If you remember the McCain ship that crashed, um, I guess they were getting ready to go into, they were in the strait there, getting ready mm -hmm. to go into Singapore. And um, he was the CEO of that ship. And yes. He's going to come talk about his experience there. And, yeah. and I think that will be an eye-opening talk. Yeah, I bet it will. I mean, it, it's a sad story. Some loss of life took place. And, very very yeah, sad. Very and and uh, I want to say as usual, but as usual, the CEO of the ship gets thrown into the mm -hmm. bus. Um, and, and I don't think they do a very good root cause analysis of yeah. why these things happen and then get the corrective actions taken. So this is a good example of why we're here at the summit, is we don't want these kinds of things to happen. We don't want these lessons learned to be missed. We want to have good root cause analysis, yes. good uh, investigation practices, management uh, to understand those practices and what they can do to help them, to prevent them from having big accidents. Because we really want taproot clients, I don't want to see them in the news ever. Oh, I, I don't want to see a, a big refinery explosion. I don't want to see 
a drug company um, get an FDA let warning letter or some big recall because they have bad quality. I want Taproot users to be ahead of the rest of the game. Yeah. And you're learning from the smaller incidents, the precursor incidents, so that you don't have the big accidents. Mm -hmm. And if you're really good, you're learning proactively and using taproot root cause analysis proactively to prevent sometimes even the precursor yes. incidents. that's what so, we want. So we want to fix the problems before bad things happen. Yes. That's the key. And we're, we've always been so blessed that these people will come and share their story with what, what oh, happened. Yeah, yeah. And it's very dramatic for them and hard for them to do, but it's wonderful that they would come and share their stories. Um, Don McMillan is a comedian, yes. I believe. I've seen a video about him. Right. I'm just going to leave it at that. He's pretty darn funny. He's pretty uh, darn funny. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a techno... Uh, so, so we start tech. the day off on Wednesday <laughs> with sort of a, the bad incident. Mm -hmm. We don't want to end up with a bad no. incident. We want to end up on a high note. So we've got somebody funny coming to talk at the end of the day. Yeah, morning. and then we go off to our reception, and Carl's coming again, I yes. think. Yes, so, Carl's be wonderful. So everybody get ready to sing and dance. Sing and dance. Um, and like we mentioned, Jim Weatherby, and then you are a keynote as well. What yes. are you thinking about this year? I'm going to talk about lives saved. And and so it's so sometimes I talk about Here's the problems, and we have to attack mm -hmm. them, and it seems sort of a downer. But this is more about what we've been doing that's worked well and how it saved lives and how we prevented um, accidents from occurring. So that's what we're talking about. Success stories. Success stories, like exactly. That's, we love those. All right, well, that's a pretty good start, I think, um, to introduce the summit coming up. So we talked about we talked about people can to learn yes. from the sessions. We didn't talk about net, networking or benchmarking. There's a lot of that. That's, that's what a – so when – probably 80% mm -hmm. of the time, when you ask somebody at the end of the summit, 80% of the time what they say is, the people I yeah. met were so great. And I, I don't remember who I was talking to last year. It was their first summit. And they said, wow, I wasn't expecting this. This is like, it's sort of like a family reunion. You meet all it those is. people you like. He said, it's not like the bad people of the family reunion. It's the <laughs> no, good it's people the good the family. It's the family you and like. He said, and he said, you really learn a lot from these people, and you really are meeting leaders mm -hmm. in improving performance from around the world to these great companies, and you really can learn a lot to take back home with you, which is what the networking at the summit. Yeah. And we work really hard to make the networking happen. Um, we have had decades now of experience in making networking fun at the summit and so you will meet people it's not going to be a painful process and you will um enjoy these people and oh, enjoy yeah. meeting them and it'll be fun it'll be fun yep we have some that come back over and over and over and they become your family too yep so um it's a great amazing and, and that sort of ends up the fun part of it, oh, then it does. too it's it's all the fun you know, so if you like, if you just like having fun, come to the summit. You we do fun. have a great time. Yeah. We really do, um, and it's a great value. I mean, five days of amazing knowledge and networking, and it's all less than a five day course. And <laughs> and if you bring a team, yeah. and a team is more than three or more than ten, yeah. there's special discounts, and that'll That's be right. online as to what those discounts are, but you know, it really does knock a bunch off the price for bringing that team and make it really affordable. You can almost think about it like it's your company safety meeting mm -hmm. for the year. Bring all your folks and have it there. It's a great time to do it. And if you had some people who need to be trained in the two-day, come bring them there and get trained in the two-day and then stay. And, and get sessions. some other people trained in some of the other advanced courses. You get them yeah. to both the pre-summit and the summit. The pre-summit's on a Monday, Tuesday. That's when our courses are. Summit's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We finish at noon mm -hmm. so make sure your flight Not out Friday. has enough time to get back over to Austin and then late enough so you do get home yeah. but you don't have to leave early because you don't want to miss Frank Abagnale talk about I think it's gonna be fun yeah talk about being yeah. Tom Hanks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I think this is going to be so good. So see, you don't want to miss it. You want to go ahead and start putting this on your calendar, planning your budget. And we're just going to plan on seeing you there because we know you're going to be there. That's it. All right. Well, thanks, Mark. Um, I'm looking forward to talking you, about Bana. this more here in the future. We've got a, a, several more months of planning to do. So who knows what all is going to come up between now and then. Yep. But just stick with us and keep checking in and we'll let you know more. Uh, join us back next week and we'll have some more topics. And now here are the videos. Jeff, tell me what you thought of this year's summit. Well, the summit every year, it's, it's something I look forward to coming to. But uh, 
it's the people. When I'm here with not just the people that are attending, it's it, it's the people involved with Taproot. It's like a family. Uh, you're never alone. You, you have a need, and everyone's there for you. So I learned a lot again, and I'm looking forward to next year. Um, this is my very first summit, and I can say that it has been very impactful. Met a lot of new people, different aspects of the business for industrial. Um, I think that all of the breakout sections were very meaningful, and I think that everyone that's in you know, health and safety or quality, anything that has a process that could possibly be fixed, they should come to this summit um, because they can learn different things. The best part about the summit this year was being able to network and talk with other peoples in different environments, how they use Taproot, what they've learned from using Taproot, and how they have actually been able to improve the Taproot based on the input from the end users in the field. I'm in the healthcare environment, so by talking to the people in all the different industries, I've been able to actually recreate that and how it fits in the healthcare setting. So I've learned so much from my peers by networking and just... Uh, you know, the, the keynote speakers, they, they really, they're really impactful, mm -hmm. really impactful. Uh, Jim Weatherby uh, uh, on day one, um, you know, Mark this morning and then Candace this afternoon. Really looking forward to Spencer Stone tomorrow. Um, you know, the keynote speakers do have that that impact on everything. They do. Uh, the other thing for me is just being able to come and then reconnect with Taproot and, and all the, uh, everybody. And there's new, this year too, there are so many new people. Isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot yeah. of new friends yeah. this year. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. That's so you're I looking like. forward to Horseshoe Bay next I year? I am, absolutely, yes. It's always Horseshoe a favorite Bay. venue of ours, yeah, get, isn't it? Hey, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful place. And I get to ride my motorcycle again. There you right? go. I'll ride up. Safety yeah. first, though, right? Of course. All yeah. right. Hey, I even wore a full face <laughs> helmet to this one. So. Thanks, Ken. We appreciate it so much.